Welcome back to Find a Crypto. My name is Chase, level one CMT and full-time trader. Looking at Chainlink here on the 5-Day Gaussian channel. Has anything significant happened lately? I can't really tell. Just looking at this chart, it's hard to see. Can you can you point it out for me? Oh, oh, the glaring neon bars uh, to the heavens. Right, yeah, that's, that's the move. Uh, could we have ever have seen this? Of course, this is the level we're looking at. For the past 500 days, we've broken it. Our 500 days of sideways consolidation hell is now over. We are putting in significant moves for the past couple of weeks to the upside. And what in the hell can we expect next? I'm glad you asked. Let's take a look, right? Let's zoom back out. Well, first and foremost, we are above the Gaussian channel, right? You can see that here. We are above all moving averages. By bullish definition, you are. I feel like we spoke in Yoda terms right then. Okay, so um, we only have one check mark though. What does that mean? Well, we're above the Gaussian channel on the five day. That's one check mark. The second check mark comes when this channel turns green. How in the hell launch longer do we have to wait for that? Well, it's not going to be too long, right? With prices above this this level, right? The, I mean, the top of the channel is eight dollars. All we have to do is hold above there and give it just a little bit more time and we will get our double check marks now what happens with the double check marks well the long term says you're good to go right that it, historically speaking altcoins bitcoin ethereum whatever you're looking at when you're above the five day gaussian channel and it turns green in the not so distant future you're gonna do very well now it could be a couple of months before prices have actually you know truly uh, an up only mode or anything like that, but let's just go look at Bitcoin in case you didn't catch that video earlier uh, Looking at the Gaussian channel So back here the five-day Gaussian channel right has already been green since May for Bitcoin and You know our, our first closing candle the price closed at 27,000 was that the absolute stellar bottom? No, but if you start to buy there no matter what in, in you know five months six months a year later prices have historically done very well and by historically i mean all of history for bitcoin if you just buy with the double check mark channel green prices above it doesn't mean you can't go down more it means that that's going to be a great price entry for you know your future self for the year for the next peak so to speak right the next bull run peak so if you would have bought all in or e even all in here at 27k would you be mad now Probably not, right? Would you be hesitant as hell back then and be doubting yourself? Of course, right? Any The best trades that you've ever done likely didn't feel like it at the moment, right? You you, tr you make your, your, your winning trades when you're likely very fearful, right? And that's, that's why most people lose because they usually just buy at the Pico tops, right? Or very near them uh, because everything seems like it can't die. Okay, so now let's get back to our friend, Mr. Chainlink. 5 day Gaussian channel. Could we have a cool off? Of course. Where would our throwback be or our bullish retest? Well, I'm glad you asked. Let's look at our breakout zone. Our top, The tops of our consolidation zone, our 500 day consolidation zone is going to be right in here, right? Look how if you put it on closing prices, right, which we're doing right now, right? Look at all these peaks touching the bottom of this box here, right? Look at that. So that's our low around $8, right? $8 significant, right? The peak right here, uh, $9. You only see one peak there, but look how many wicks you're encompassing now. Now you have a lot more, right? So that's starting around $9. nine eight to $9 if we're lucky enough to get Chainlink price back in there and you're still on the sidelines when it gets more, that would be the place to do it. But I'm not super convinced that that's going to happen really soon because we have two other levels that are higher than that already. One is a big one. It's the 200 EMA right here in the pink, right? So watch for that level to hold, perhaps, but we're on a five day, so moving averages, a lot of people don't watch these moving averages, more likely the weekly, but those are still the same on the weekly chart. Those are one the moving averages you're gonna wanna watch for throwbacks. The top of the Gaussian channel on the weekly is $9, right? The still the start of this zone on the five day. The bottom of that channel is still right around $8, so significant. Now let's clear that out. Let's clear the Gaussian channel out just momentarily here so we can get a better look at these moving averages. So you're going to want to look at uh, throwbacks or bullish retests around. You guessed it. The, there's, here's the 200 in the pink right here. The 200 week. Keep that in mind. This is a big moving average. 
that's around nine dollars okay also the ema8 is there right the lowest moving average the ema8 as long as you're above that i mean you're, you're bullish by definition for sure the ema21 is all the way down at or around the eight dollar mark but rising week over week so even at this week's close we'll probably be over eight dollars so um, that would be kind of uh, the really the worst case scenario given the structure and how long we did this consolidation. We should not be closing any weekly candles back below the MA21. So you want to follow that like a hawk. Any kind of it, after a breakout, right? A throwback is where you're going to want to be picking up some more, right? On anything, not just chain link, right? Uh, on, a, on an uptrend or a breakout after 500 days of consolidation, that's not to be taken lightly. So EMA8. EMA 200, if it's close, there's the, the blue line. That's the EMA 100. The 100 week moving average is around 950. So if you want to make it stupid easy on yourself, I mean, just make this a zone and stretch this out. So anywhere, you, you might have to adjust that week over week, but between the 100, the EMA 8, and the 200, very likely, whenever Chainlink decides to take a chill pill, uh, if, uh, that's this is the zone and that's not likely to change now EMA 21 will likely be there even in the next couple of weeks maybe going into the end of November right so you want to keep that in the back of your mind as well but so buying on a throwback right great there's your, there's your level how about to the upside well yeah we need to be looking up because chain link breakout could just consolidate up here right we could just kind of do one of these moves at least for now and then you know make another run right that's also possible um, unlikely given the fact that Bitcoin dominance is so high, if we are in a, an alt season, then you, yeah, you don't want to be doubting altcoins that are breaking out five day on 500 day trends, uh, when alt season is here. Uh, I still believe that alt season is going to happen after Bitcoin dominance goes back under 50%. And, uh, you, you just, you, you really see it. all the Gaussian channels on the five day will likely turn green. So we're just not there yet. It's a little too early. I'm thinking probably a couple of months more likely mid to late Q1 2024. Um, so that's where I'm going with there. But for Chainlink, right, you want to be looking at all these lows uh, that happened last, um, you know, the bull market, right? Where, where do our lows happen, right? I would paint a big zone right here, right? So we're looking at somewhere in here. And if you encompass these low wicks, right, that we had back in here, right, we're already kind of hitting resistance initially. But let's do our closing prices. Right, these are going to be a little bit bigger. You can see this low trough here, low trough there, um, and that's where I would go with that. That's going to be the more significant one. Uh, Fifteen dollars, right? Nice round number for the human psychologically, um, and also twelve dollars, twelve fifty-ish area. So twelve fifty to fifteen is going to be our big resistance zone. So if we can maybe get up in there, maybe we hold it, or maybe we just kind of. Uh, kind of rotate back and forth. We we, we we consolidate here. We go in here. We come up here. Right? Something like this would be great, really, for the bulls. And we can just hang on until alt season shows up. Then I think Chainlink can make a more significant move if we can hang up here. Or, right, we just we get a little bit of a chill. We come back to like $9, $10 area. We do something like this. And maybe it's not quite as, you know, as epic as we all want it to be, at least initially. And then we have a little bit of a later bloom here for, for chain link. So something like one of those two that I just mentioned, um, likely on, on the books, at least for now, I'm willing to, you know, Bruce Lee, be water, adapt at, at a moment's notice. And you should be as well. Don't get too deterministic in your thinking. Always be willing to change uh, based on the data. And anyone else trying to convince you of doing anything besides that is trying to fit their narrative and likely trying to sell you something. So um that's why I created this channel. Cut through all the BS, give you as much information packed as possible based on my, you know, six years being in crypto, uh, you know, 15, 20 years being in, in, in charting and uh, my CMT knowledge. And that is that. So um, happy to take comments, requests in the comments, <laughs> comments in the comments. That's going to be on a shirt someday, I swear. Um, and where we, you know, what else do you want to see? Right. I'm here for you guys. Um, Love to see more videos from myself uh, going forward uh, as prices turn more bullish, as people start to tune back into crypto. We'll get there. Um, just, um, you know, slow and steady. Uh, you know, I've put out over a thousand videos over the past, you know, couple of years here on YouTube and still cannot crack the 10K mark. So, um, you know, spread the word. Um, I feel like it's a rarity to have someone, you know, not shill you anything. I have no referral links. Uh, I have no, nothing to sell you, right? I'm just trying to get you as much information as possible to get you prepared for what's to come. 
and you know Chainlink is 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 on the precipice uh, word of the day of of uh, fitting that bill. Uh, five hundred dollar consolidation, five hundred day consolidation breakout. We're now here above all moving averages. This is serious business. Chainlink on the move and likely just starting. Car of the day. Holy shit. I hope you didn't click off. <laughs> I was like, fake out. Uh, quarter of the day, car of the day. <laughs> Damn. Uh, it's not what you pay a man, but what he costs you that counts. Uh, you don't have to pay me anything. And your cost is nothing. <laughs> All right. Uh, car of the day, McLaren 750S. Looks very similar to the 720S. And that's its downfall. And it's good graces, right? I love the 720S. It's my favorite McLaren. But uh, the 750 should have a little bit more tweaks, right? I mean, it's damn similar, right? Until you get to the back. This is a little bit more unique. You got the grill, the mesh. I, I like that they did that. The McLaren Artura did that first. And then um, the 765LT, the special edition McLaren, the track version, uh, also does that. Uh, the 765LT is absolutely uh, my favorite, but it's, it's, it's too pricey. Right, I'll take the 720s, and and you, you can buy two 720s's for the price of a 765. So, um, yeah, that's that. Uh, so 750s in McLaren Signature Orange, and very looking Halloween esque pumpkin. All right, that's over. That's over now. Got the pumpkin shirt on, and the pumpkin car. What's next? Pumpkins in the background. <laughs> All right, it's all over. It's all over now. It's it's going we're going to Thanksgiving and then Christmas. Now it's it's going to be Christmas everything before you can blink. Before you go outside, your next supermarket run, your next Costco run, your next anywhere run will likely have some kind of Christmas in it. It's already November 2nd. Of course, why wouldn't we? Barf. <laughs>